An attestation from instructor Carlos focused on Durham School. I've committed my entire calling to cultivating a specific theory about the universe. Then this happens. The theory is being tended to. I embrace this test since it is through such investigating that we advance and gain ground in science. The James Webb Space Telescope is basically disturbing some extensively held convictions in cosmology that have been recognized as truth for a century. Another ultra-trackdown picture has uncovered that we have made mistakes in space science. The telescope, which was wanted to reveal the chief stars of the universe, is somewhat troublesome. The past point of view might introduce a completely new consistent perspective. Not all experts are upset about these new revelations. Various scientists are welcoming these changes since it has for a long while been evident that there were issues with our past speculations. The anomalies in assessing the universe's development rate alone should have cautioned researchers a surprisingly long time ago. As opposed to accurately interpreting these counsels, many grasped outdated speculation. The inestimable microwave background radiation, CMB, which is the most prepared light in the universe, was made around 380,000 years after the Big Bang, when the universe had cooled sufficiently for electrons and protons to form stable hydrogen atoms. This change, known as reionization, made the universe straightforward to life. The CMB was first distinguished in 1964 by American physicists Arnold Penzias and Robert Wilson while they were chipping away at new receiving wire advancements. They encountered a decided upheaval coming from each bearing overhead. This revelation was at first considered noise strength for the Big Bang Theory. Penzias and Wilson were awarded the Nobel Prize, and their finding turned into an establishment in the history of stargazing. The CMB provides a view of the early universe, with microscopic temperature changes offering essential pieces of information into the conditions not long after the tremendous blast. Scientists use the CMB as a reliable etching to measure vital pieces of the material universe, including the universe's improvement rate. Edwin Hubble had proactively made such assessments in the last piece of the 1920s. He saw that distant universes are moving away from us and that their speed interfaces with their distance, which is presently known as the Hubble Guideline or the Hubble Constant. In spite of the way that Hubble's assessments were not as precise as essential, they were critical. When the CMB was found, investigators recalculated the expansion rate, tracking down it basically lower than Hubble's initial evaluation. Subsequent recalculations using type IA supernovae as standard candles gave a more exact assessment. However, blunders remained. The distinction in expansion rate assessments has been known since the 1990s. Examiners have felt that there could be issues with the CMB data assessment methods or the possibility of universal expansion. This uniqueness, known as the S8 tension or Hubble strain, shows that our understanding of the universe might be fundamentally blemished. Since the James Webb Space Telescope started its activities, it has provided astounding data that could help with making sense of the issue. Cosmic systems so old and mature that their formation should speculatively begin before the Big Bang are testing old logical theory. Cosmology at present faces what is remembered to be the greatest crisis in current stargazing. The expansion speed of the universe and the hypothesis of how things came to be are under an amplifying glass. Network pictures reveal a universe that shifts basically from past models. The S8 tension served as an initial warning. Researchers who still cling to outdated theories now face a situation where various specialists are grappling with the affirmation that our insight into the universe may be productive. This weakness has left various examiners tormented and bewildered. To address this crisis, we must appreciate how science functions. Hypothetical scientists use a blend of mathematical models, observational data, and intelligent reasoning to arrive at conclusions. Their understanding comes from observing idiosyncrasies, test results, and speculative investigation. The term theory itself suggests assemblies and contemplations rather than outright bits of insight. Our logical information comes from pictures given by telescopes, sound waves, and radiation caught by radio telescopes, as well as data from neutrino and gravitational wave identifiers. The James Webb Space Telescope permits us to dissect the most settled light into individual frequencies and examine it in outstanding detail. It can show which parts were normal in systems more than quite a while back, the mass held inside them, and the amount of stars present. However, Webb's photos may have obstacles. For instance, 
it can't essentially recognize cosmic systems and black holes that emit equivalent brightness due to tremendous mass gathering. Our logical perception has advanced to recognize various potential outcomes as insights and has often dismissed other possible explanations. New revelations from the James Webb Telescope offer indispensable clues that might prompt replacing old theories with new insights. Analysts are now grappling with these revelations, which seem so unique that finding new explanations is challenging. The latest discoveries are shaking the foundations of physics, causing concern among a large number of experts. Physical science illustrations today are still strongly impacted by Isaac Newton's 17th century labor. For a very long time, his laws of movement and gravity have provided the foundation for understanding the physical world and the universe. Newton's guidelines make sense of object movements under normal conditions on Earth. However, in space, his thoughts required augmentation, generally accomplished by Albert Einstein during the 20th century. Einstein's remarkable theory of relativity, published in 1905, reformed the comprehension of existence, exhibiting their relativity to the observer's movement. His general theory of relativity, published in 1915, extended these thoughts with mathematical affirmations of gravitational quarks based on spacetime curvature caused by masses like stars or galaxies. While Einstein's theories were clear in various areas, he recognized their limitations and sought a unifying theory without success. No expert has yet won in this endeavor. It is captivating to consider where stumbles could lie. Michio Kaku, a prominent American astrophysicist, proposed that addressing this issue could lead to a Nobel Prize. We need to explore what reality seekers might have overlooked, whether there have been misinterpretations of quarks or if telescopes might be at fault. Dark matter and dark energy are top suspects in the cosmological crisis. Current models suggest that dark matter and dark energy together represent around 95% of the universe, yet neither has been clearly seen or proven to exist. They may not exist at all, or perhaps they have properties we don't yet grasp. One belief being discussed is that these dark parts properties might have evolved over time, possibly indicating some sort of understanding. Gravity, which ought to cause attraction through mass or spacetime curvature, has not been definitively demonstrated. Despite the fact that spacetime shape ideas, generally from Einstein, have been validated multiple times, we can't entirely rule out the possibility that gravity has unexpected properties compared to what we accepted, or that another influence causes gravitational attraction over time. Certain characteristics in cosmology and stargazing have been established as significant constants accepted to be robust, generally due to their stability. Calculations suggest that minor variations in these constants could provide new insights into the universe and explain idiosyncrasies. Without dark energy, it is also possible that our interpretations of light shifts have been mistaken, leading to incorrect distance assessments and cosmic system ages. Perhaps our assumptions about the universe's conditions were flawed, or we misconstrued the cosmic microwave background radiation. It might even be that the universe doesn't originate from a single starting point, testing the hypothesis of an early-stage astronomical explosion. Not enduring our creative types of progress, minor errors in the web telescope or other observational devices can't be ruled out. Subject matter experts and specialists have acknowledged that mistakes in instrumentation, data handling, or interpretation are generally possible. The ongoing reassessment of cosmological theories highlights a fundamental aspect of scientific progress, the ability to change and propel our understanding based on new evidence. The James Webb Space Telescope's insights are more than a mechanical leap. They represent a significant moment in our journey to unveil the universe's secrets. As we wrestle with these revelations, it's essential to recognize the broader context and consequences of such logical shifts in the field of cosmology. The process involved is often directed at refining theories by the need to align insights with speculative models. The discovery of surprising eccentricities or abnormalities in established theories can be unsettling. However, it also presents an important opportunity for scientific advancement. Hypothetical models in cosmology are developed to provide a clear framework for understanding the universe's origins, development, and progression. However, as new data emerges, these models must be tested and, if necessary, modified to accommodate new insights. One significant area of focus is the concept of dark matter and dark energy, 
which are imperative to contemporary cosmological models. Dark matter, an imperceptible kind of matter that doesn't emit or absorb light, was proposed to resolve inconsistencies between observed cosmic system disturbances and the mass expected from observable matter alone. Similarly, dark energy was introduced to represent the observed accelerated expansion of the universe. Despite their critical roles in current models, both dark matter and dark energy remain puzzling. Efforts to directly identify dark matter through tests on Earth have so far been ineffective, leading researchers to explore alternative theories and possibilities. The challenge of understanding dark matter and dark energy is compounded by the vast scope involved in cosmological investigations. Observations of faraway galaxies, cosmic microwave background radiation, and other cosmological characteristics provide winding evidence of these components. However, their nature remains elusive. This uncertainty has prompted specialists to consider a range of theories, from modifications to existing models to entirely new paradigms. For instance, some hypotheses propose that dark matter could be composed of more exotic particles than previously thought, or that dark energy might be indicative of another fundamental force. Another intriguing aspect of cosmological investigation is the examination of cosmic inflation. This theory suggests that the universe underwent rapid expansion in its earliest moments, leading to the vast scale structure we observe today. While inflationary theory has successfully explained numerous aspects of the universe, such as its homogeneity and isotropy, it also raises questions about the nature of the inflationary period itself. Later observations that challenge established models of inflation could lead to revisions in how we interpret the universe's early history. Additionally, the search for extraterrestrial life continues to be a significant driver of cosmic investigation. The discovery of exoplanets, planets orbiting stars outside our solar system, has opened up new avenues for studying the conditions necessary for life. Advances in telescope technology, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, enable researchers to analyze the atmospheres of these exoplanets for potential biomarker signatures. The possibility of finding life beyond Earth has profound implications for our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Regarding theoretical physics, string theory and quantum gravity represent two distinct approaches to unifying our understanding of fundamental forces. String theory suggests that the fundamental building blocks of the universe are not point-like particles but rather one-dimensional strings vibrating at different frequencies. This theory aims to reconcile general relativity, which describes gravity, with quantum mechanics, which governs the behavior of particles at the smallest scales. Despite its theoretical nature and mathematical complexity, string theory has inspired new approaches to studying the nature of spacetime and matter. Quantum gravity, on the other hand, attempts to create a framework that combines the principles of quantum mechanics with those of general relativity. One of the primary candidates in this field is loop quantum gravity, which posits that spacetime itself has a discrete, granular structure at the smallest scales. This approach seeks to resolve the apparent inconsistencies between the smooth spacetime of general relativity and the probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics. The exchange between theory and observation in modern cosmology highlights the dynamic nature of scientific inquiry. As our observational tools advance, our capacity to test and refine theoretical models becomes more precise. For example, gravitational wave cosmology has provided a new way of probing phenomena like black hole mergers and neutron star collisions, offering insights into the fundamental nature of gravity and the behavior of matter under extreme conditions. These discoveries have not only confirmed assumptions about general relativity, but have also opened up new questions concerning the nature of space-time. In parallel, the field of astrobiology explores the potential for life in the universe by examining extreme conditions on Earth and simulating environments on other planets. Research into extremophiles, organisms that thrive in harsh conditions such as extreme heat, pressure, or radiation, provides insights into the types of environments where life might exist elsewhere. This interdisciplinary approach, which integrates biology and planetary science, enhances our understanding of the potential forms and conditions of extraterrestrial life. As our knowledge of the universe expands, so too does our appreciation for the complexity and interconnectedness of cosmic phenomena.
The ongoing investigation of pivotal questions about the nature of reality challenges our assumptions and drives us to seek deeper understanding. Each revelation, whether it affirms existing theories or suggests new avenues of inquiry, contributes to a broader perspective of the universe. In summary, the reassessment of cosmological theories in light of new insights is a testament to the resilience of the scientific method. The James Webb Space Telescope and other advanced observational tools have provided exceptional insights into the universe, prompting researchers to revisit and refine long-held theories. This cycle of continuous inquiry and revision is essential for advancing our understanding of the universe and addressing the critical questions that lie at the heart of cosmology and astrophysics. As we continue to explore the universe, we remain engaged in a quest for knowledge that not only seeks to answer fundamental questions, but also inspires future generations to push the boundaries of human understanding.